So recently I started creating this um, top-down scrolling game in Scratch, and um, I thought it might be good if I taught how to make one of these um, in my YouTube channel. So um, today I will be covering the basics of how to make a top-down scrolling RPG engine like this. Um, it will be um, slightly easier, so it won't be too hard. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. So we are going to create a new project. And I am going to call it um, Scrolling RPG Engine. Alright, um, as you can see, we have our sprite one. I'm going to name it Player. And I am going to make it a square. So, square. I'm going to delete that. Um, cover it to bitmap because I like bitmap. <laughs> And I'm going to draw a square. Now, if you hold shift, you can draw a perfect square if you don't know that. Um, so let's position it in the middle. Great. Next, we're going to create a new sprite and we're going to call this level. Oh, wait, let me make that lowercase because in our player sprite, our P is lowercase too. Um, you want that to be consistent. And in our level, convert to bitmap, I am going to draw some basic rectangles and now you can see it's pretty small but we will make it bigger by setting its size later right great now let us start scrolling wait actually let me move this away from the player so it won't be touching um we are going to set this to a much bigger size later which will allow us to draw much more um in our costume sprite First, we are going to say when clicked, we're going to create two new variables. We're going to call them scroll x, all right, and scroll, sorry, scroll y. Now, this is going to be recording our screen position. So, at the start, we are going to say set scroll x to zero, set scroll y to zero. Then, we're going to say forever. If key right arrow pressed then we are going to change our scroll x by one if key left oh sorry if key left arrow pressed then we are going to change scroll x by negative one and we're going to do the same thing for our up and down arrows um if key up arrow pressed then change scroll y by one and if key down arrow pressed we're going to change scroll y by negative one great so if I show these variables now, you can see that they now move according to our um, sprite. Um, yeah. Next, we are going to say, for our level sprite, we're going to say when clicked forever, we are going to go to our x, x, scroll x, and y, scroll y. So you see now we can move our level with our player. But you can also notice that if we try to move right, our level moves left. Well, why is that? Imagine this. In a normal scenario, our player will be moving this way, right? So we want to change our x by 1. But now the level's moving. So if the level's changing x by 1, it would be you know weird, right? We want the level to change um, the opposite way. Which means that we will have to convert scroll x and scroll y two negative values so we're going to say zero minus scroll x all right it's the same thing as scroll x times negative one and zero minus scroll y um sorry about the computer worrying um and in our player sprite we also want to make sure to say go to x zero y zero so you see now we can move our um we can move our level perfectly if we press the left arrow key, the, level, the arrow, I'm sorry, the level moves right. And if we press the up arrow key, the level moves down. Great. Next, we're going to program, we're going to program in the collisions, all right? Because right now, you know, our player can just go into the level. Um, so what we're going to say is that we're going to say, we're going to create a new custom block. We'll make a block. We're going to call it move x, x, y, y. 
Um, no need to click um, when we're out screen refresh, all right? And instead of using these blocks, we're going to say move x1, y0. So we can just trash that. Um, 1, 0. 1, 0. Oh, whoops, sorry. 1, 0, because we are changing the y for our upper arrow. And negative 1, 0. Great. So instead of that, we can say change scroll x by x here and change our scroll y by y here. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry again. So you see, now we can move our, um, you know, our... Oh, sorry, again. It's supposed to be a negative value here. Um, so you can see now nothing has changed. Um, and we can still go through the level, which we're going to program right now. Now, we're going to say if we are not touching the level here, which means that if we are touching the level, then, you know, it won't scroll. It won't change um, scroll X and scroll Y. So if not touching the level here, well, now we can't move, right? Because we're stuck in the wall. Um, which means that we have to move our level sprite probably up a bit because we are touching the player, right? So you see now, boom. If we're touching it, we suddenly can't move now because we are touching the level, right? So, um, now we're going to program in the collision. Now in here, we're going to say go to x, x, y, y. Now what this does is that if we are supposed to change scroll x by 1, then we're going to move our player by one pixel. And if it's not touching level, then it's going to change scroll x by x and change scroll i by y. Right? But if it's touching level, it won't move. And at the end here, we're going to say go to x0, y0. All right? So after we check if we're touching the level at that um, spot, we're going to go back to x0, y0. So you see now we stop. And we can actually perfectly um, move around the level. Um, we can move really smoothly too. Um, finally, we're going to make our level bigger. All right. Now, in here, we are going to set size to 300. Yay! Now we actually have a big level sprite. And we can move around. And you may start to notice that our player moves slower. Well, slow. So we can just make these values larger. Let's say 3 negative 3, and 3, negative 3. All right. Now our sprite moves much faster. It still has its perfect collision. And um, yeah, um, this is a very basic scrolling engine. Um, does it require a lot of blocks? And if you want to design your own levels, just go into costumes tab and draw some stuff there. I'm just going to draw some random stuff here. Yay. So now... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, you're free to use this um, as long as you know you give credit to um, my um, tutorials. Um, it works really great. You can use it to create any scrolling mazes or perhaps any um, any RPGs if you're interested. And um, yeah, um, I, I might consider making a part two to this because it is quite basic. Um, in the next tutorials, we might be talking about friction, which um, will be quite hard to program in. Um, and we also might be talking about collectibles, which means that you can be able to clone these coins or whatever around here. So it can be like a Pac-Man game where you have to collect these coins. Um, anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.